Hello everybody. What I got to show you here is a Phantom Ghost mouse. This uh, keyboard and mouse combo is a fairly expensive um, piece of equipment that can't be found. But I got this one and it's got a problem on it so let me show you what the problem is. If we connect it to a computer as you can see, nobody's touching the keyboard, all right? But the mouse jumps by itself, sometimes does selections, very annoying. The keyboard cannot be used. Now, the mouse does work, here I'm touching it, but as you can see, see it does left clicks, and right clicks by itself so right now nothing's touching it and it's just moving the mouse along the way all right it's disconnected what do we do in this case I suppose it's a very simple solution we're gonna need one or two of these things these are alcohol pads that you use when you do injections and let's take this keyboard apart I have pulled out the, the screws to take the top section off I'm gonna try and do with one hand or I should say undo the screws for um, the trackpad. In this case, the situation is very simple. You get some screws, pull the screws out, uh, free up the trackpad, and clean it up. Over time, the residue on the trackpad surface becomes conductive. And that conductive residue causes these issues. As you can see, that's where the problem is. On the edges of the trackpad, there is the dust particles. They have become conductive. Let's see if I can do this with one hand yet. So I'm just going to free up my alcohol pad uh, you don't want to do this with one hand unless you're one-handed in which case I'm sorry uh, you do want to use two hands and you want to disconnect everything I can do this because I can, because it's mine. And I'm not going to mess it up. Let's blow some air at it so we get rid of the alcohol residue. I'm going to run another pad. I just want to see if this works. In fact, let's just leave it out. We don't need to put it together. Uh, this does apply to laptops and uh, computers. So I just plugged it in. As you can see, same situation. I'm not touching it and the mouse cursor is perfectly still. Now I am touching it and it's moving as I tell it to. Now because it's all wiggly and wobbly it doesn't move very very fine. Once I put it all together it'll it'll work fine. I've done this multiple times. Uh, problems like for example, if you have a trackpad like this that behaves uh, weirdly, you can use an alcohol pad and see if cleaning it would stabilize it. If it doesn't, 
you might want to take it out and look at one of my videos where I put this trackpad into a plastic bag with alcohol and soak it and wiggle it in there. That cleans it out and fixes it. If none of that helps, I'm sorry, you may need to replace your trackpad. If you have a trackpad like this, this is off an Apple, and the battery blew up. Let me see if I have. If your battery became from this, something like this, pushed on a trackpad from the bottom and cracked it, broke it, bent the metal, there's nothing you can do. If it still works, you can use it. I would put uh, tape over it, bend it up, and bend it out, and put tape over it. If not, this one needs to be replaced. This is junk right here. All right, so hopefully this helps somebody save a few bucks. This keyboard I bought for pennies, but uh, something like this is very hard to find. I like that it's uh, all-in-one. And when I do testing on the computers, let me show you. This is the computer that I pulled the trackpad out, but I needed to test whether the computer is working. A keyboard like this is extremely helpful. Uh, sometimes I work on Windows machines and I pull out the trackpad keyboard. In fact, the whole top section comes off and I don't want to put it back together because oftentimes your um, cables on the bottom, too many cables that need to be reconnected. I just plug this into a USB port and off I go. It works wonders. Don't need a special mouse, don't need special anything, just one cord gets me going. And uh, this particular one comes from motion computing. They don't make them anymore, but this one is nice. Thank you for watching. Enjoy saving money. Subscribe, give me likes, and enjoy your day.